I had two different options. One option was to go ahead and step away from the industry that I really loved. The other was to go ahead and set the benchmark. When I pulled into Smugs, uh, I immediately knew I was at a place that I wanted to be. It's a great time and it's a really novel experience that I don't think you'll find many other places. What it's all about is engaging people throughout the experience, uh, giving them opportunities to see the environment from different perspectives. In December 2010, Mike Smith founded Arbitrack Kennedy Adventures. This is a gravity-fed activity. You step off that platform and you don't know where you're going. Close your eyes, scream, hold your breath, do what you need to do. Then you get to enjoy the scenery uh, and great times with your friends and your family. If you've skied smugs, if you've snowboarded smugs, you gotta zip it next. All right guys, so welcome to ground school. Your first ride is at ground level on the bunny zip, which our staff uses to teach you proper hand placement, adjusting for wind, and braking mechanics. We have right now nine zip lines. They range in length from 50 feet all the way up to almost 1,000 feet. There's short, there's long, there's fast, there's slow. There's the 850 foot line. That's one of the fastest we've had. A guy clocked himself doing about 35 miles an hour. It's just a thrill stepping off that platform. My favorite features of the course is the bridge because you have a chance to slow down and look around and really enjoy what's around you. Just as you feel like you've kind of had a full experience, then we throw in some repels. That pushes people to their limit a little bit, but it's great. At first glance, Arbitrex seems no different than other zipline operations. In reality, we keep finding new ways to distinguish ourselves. What I thought was cool about Arbitrex was they actually took the time to tell you about where you were ziplining and the trees and the history of the forest that you were in. Our mission is to educate, entertain, and inspire people, and we try to stay true to that the whole way through the experience. After some 80 hours of technical instruction, guides receive first aid, CPR, natural history, and ecology training. The guides explain the differences between the trees and some of the birds and the woodpeckers and stuff. To be out in nature and, and experience it and learn about it at the same time, I thought that was cool. There'll be plenty of opportunities to take pictures and to just really enjoy spending time out in a really novel experience with your friends and your family. Our guides were great, they're fun, they're a little crazy, but their their safety comes first. I'm an outdoor education major at Johnson State College, and uh, I came from guiding jobs in Maine, guiding rivers, and so it, uh, it was perfect. Uh, this is just a beautiful area, the tour is amazing, and I just love being around people. We want people that are going to go out there and uh, have fun with you, uh, regardless if we had the course or not. I really like talking to people, I like hanging out, I like teaching people new things, getting people to get over their fears. Jamie and Ellen were awesome. They were also very patient with me. <laughs> it took me a little time to learn what to do, but they were really nice and helped me out. It's just really fun to see people up high in the air, something they naturally don't do. I think one of the great things about this location is we have just this amazing backdrop. We've got a lot of really interesting natural history and ecology in the area, not to mention the lure of the notch. I think it's uh, something that everyone should try. Just remember that the tour is designed for families, for active seniors, and for kids. It's great for a whole family. You know, you're out in nature, you're learning about nature, and you're just having a great time. If you like to go fast, fast and snowboard fast, you're going to like the zip line too. Definitely.